Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, in today's video, why I don't eat pork. First and foremost, I find it very funny that now people reach out to me and ask me all the time why I don't eat pork. As if it is a recent shift. People assume now that I'm learning about Islam, this is why I quit eating pork. But this couldn't be any further from the truth. Guys, I haven't eaten pork in roughly two decades. Over 20 years, I haven't touched any pork. So how did it happen? When I was a teenager, I got into bodybuilding and a go-to meal for me was a bowl of rice and pre-cooked sliced lean chicken breast. That meal gave me roughly 60 grams of carbs, three or four grams of fat, and round about 30 grams of protein. It was roughly 150 grams of cooked chicken breast. I used to go to the supermarket and always get the same package. One day, however, I went to the same supermarket, got my perceived chicken breast, ate it and had to vomit. I was puking at least three times after eating it. Before you assume that it was too much food, it really wasn't. As I said, it was roughly 150 grams of meat. By no means you could say that this is much. A regular steak is above 200 grams, for example. My first thought was that it turned bad, so I checked the expiry date. However, when I checked the expiry date, I saw that it was still fresh. So what was it? I took a closer look and then I saw that it was not chicken breast. It was cooked lean ham coming from pigs, coming from swine. It was pork. Because I love to experiment and I wanted to see if it truly was the pork, I continued eating only the chicken breast for roughly three days. On the fourth day then, I went to the same supermarket and got the ham again to try and see what will happen. After ingesting the ham, the exact same scenario. I started puking violently yet again. It was about the same time when I watched Pulp Fiction for the first time and Samuel L. Jackson played Jules. Jules was a Christian. I'm sure you all remember the scene when he recites the Bible. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. But moreover, Jules said as well that he doesn't eat swine because the swine is filthy. No, man, I don't eat pork. Are you Jewish? No, I ain't Jewish. I just don't dig on swine, that's all. Why not? Pigs are filthy animals. I don't eat filthy animals. That got teenage Bobby so intrigued that I started Googling. I already knew that Muslims don't eat pork, but after my Google search, I found out that even Jews don't eat pork, and so it was only us Christians that ate pork. However, when I started digging deeper, due to the Pulp Fiction quote, I found out that in the Old Testament it said that the swine is dirty for us as well. For me, it didn't make any sense whatsoever. Even with my teenage brain, I saw that there was something wrong. How can the New Testament say it is fine to eat pig and the Old Testament says something else? Two opposing statements in the same holy book. I digged deeper and then I found out that there truly are some Christians even to this very day that do not eat pig. Pork. For me, it was crystal clear right then, right there, that I will never touch pork. Even going further back to my childhood, all my uncles are hunters or butchers. I saw my first pig slaughter when I was roughly three years old. Since then, I already was opposed to eat pig. I never ate pig cutlets or a whole roasted pig. I never touched anything on those lines. The only pork that I used to consume during my childhood would be deli slices and other processed meats that my parents would feed me. So out of my personal experience, out of my trials and errors, I don't see any justification for me personally to eat 
pork. Moreover, I don't see any argument why pork should be healthy for us. But more than my own personal experience, I would go so far and say that religiously speaking, we have all the arguments against eating pork within Judaism, within Islam, but even within Christianity itself. Alright guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel further, all the links are in the description box below. And let me know in the comment section as well if you eat pork or not and what your religion is. Alright guys, as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. And the swine, though it divides the hoof, and has cloven hoofs, it does not chew the cud, it is unclean to you. Their flesh you will not eat, their carcass you will not touch, they are unclean to you. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariot like a whirlwind, talking about the coming of the Lord, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire in his sword the Lord will judge all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Those who sanctify themselves and purify themselves who go to the gardens after an idol, eating swine's flesh, and the abomination in the mouse shall be consumed together. A people who provoke me to anger continually to my face, who sacrifice in gardens and burn incense on altars of brick, who sit among the graves and spend the night in the tombs, graves and tombs were unclean, who eat swine's flesh and the broth of abominable things in their vessels.